Hi. Hi, everybody. I've been debating whether I was going to document this or not and put it on YouTube. Um, but I figured it doesn't hurt to start with my computer. That's what I am now. That's how you see the grainy, um, or at least I see a grainy video. I don't know if you see it a lot clearer. But I figured, I'm not, how often are you going to have your teeth pulled out? It's, it's a, it's a one-shot thing. You know, they don't go back and you won't be able to do this again. So, with all the videos that I've seen on YouTube, I figured, let me add my story. My story is plain and simple. Um, I had a digestive disease. They told me I would be going through malnutrition and malabsorption. Um, osteoporosis runs in my family. So, to make a long story short, um... I would be going through bone loss and eventually my teeth would loosen, fall out, or I would have to have them pulled out. So, anxiety has been kicking in all, all this time, you know, and it's been years. I'll go to a dentist, you know, tricking my mind, oh, I'm just going to get a cleaning, or, you know, maybe they'll tell me something different, and it's like, when was the last time I went to the dentist? Over a year ago, uh, over a year ago, and it was like, hey, you know, uh, you're showing signs of periodontal disease and, uh, excuse me, um, I think I'm coming down at home, and uh, your teeth are loosening. Um, these can be saved, these cannot be saved, you should be thinking about this. Well, it's been over, over a year, about a year and a half, I went to the dental office today, a new dental office. I don't know anybody there. I just didn't feel comfortable with the dentist that I was seeing before. Um, he didn't speak to me. He came in like he was, you know, um, serious. And that's not the type of personality that I can feel comfortable with to have someone extract my teeth. You know, the dental hygienist was nicer than he was. You know, and then the waiting room area, it was like you were in a closet. And the chairs were limited. There was no place, space for children or anything. So we're all sitting there. It's overbooked. And you're sitting there way past your appointment to think about getting your teeth extracted by one of those dentists. It didn't work for me. But this new place that I went to today, really nice, really good vibe. Both of the dentists there, amazing people. The first time I've ever been to a dental office and my anxiety was down. I was calm. I mean, it kicked in in the beginning because it's new people. I don't know them. But after I spoke to... Um, I'll remember their names in a minute because it's still new to me. But um, after I spoke to the two dentists, um, I calmed down. Um, it seems like I'm going to get a uh, complete extraction um, before Thanksgiving, actually. Um, November, let me look at my calendar. Uh, November 22nd on a Friday at 9 a.m. They booked me for about three hours. Um, I'm going to be on the nitrous oxide sedation. I really would have wished to be under, but, you know, to, for them to put me to completely asleep, I have to go see a surgeon and meet somebody else new. And I have issues with going to the dentist, meeting somebody new, getting anxiety, feeling comfortable with them to get the process done. So we're going to see how it goes. He says he's going to numb me really good. And that I should be fine. Um, the treatment plan that I got here was $230 per tooth. That's my bill. Um, my insurance doesn't cover a lot of it. But I have $230 per tooth. And it is, let's count this together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 teeth. Um, last year I had the tooth that belongs here. I had that fallout when my two-year-old head bunted me. He head bunted me really hard, well at least to me it felt hard, and poof, I 
I spat or I spit it out that tooth. That was my first tooth out. Uh, this one had to get pulled out. I went to visit my mom in New York, you know, down the Bronx. I went to go visit my mom and I was in a tremendous pain. It was shooting pain and giving me a serious headache. I couldn't take it anymore. I dealt with it the first day talking about, I got it, I got it. You know, Origel, Origel, the severe one, Origel, Origel, rinsing my mouth. That didn't work. The following morning, first thing in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm standing in line for these dental surgeons to pull that out. They put me to sleep, pulled it out, boom, bang, boom, pain gone. I felt good. I thought that I can weigh off the rest of them, but it didn't work out that way. So that means uh, they're going to put pull 26 teeth out November 22nd of 2019. Um, one fell out and one got pulled out. So that's 27, 28 teeth and my wisdom teeth never came out. So that's that. Um, the bill for my uppers, complete dentures, it's $1,507. And the complete dentures for my mandibular, the bottom, is $1,486. Then it's uh, $81 for nitri nitrous oxide sedation. So um, that's where I'm at right now. Um, this is what my teeth look like. They're loose. You know, I don't want to go through all of them because they have to survive <laughs> until November 22nd. So I, I've already started preparing food and um, I'm going to document my journey as best as possible because I've seen um, a lot of happy joy joy videos which have given me the encouragement to um, get this you know, work done, this dental work done, but um, I need to know the real deal of the everyday, you know, I don't need, um, you know, for it to be all vanity, oh, did I tell you, my decision is to get full extraction, but not get immediate dentures put in, I'll let you know how that goes, it's a new thing for me. Leave your comments, um, leave any advice, suggestions, has anybody gone through what I've gone through, where you get, you know, the extractions done, but you don't get immediate entry. Um, I guess this is one of the luxuries I have for, uh, you know, being a stay-at-home mom entrepreneur. Um, I'll keep you posted on this journey, and maybe I'll have the courage one day to load it up and share my story on YouTube.